no, no problem. <laughs> it's these two men who have turned the 2013 truck racing season into a real thriller. So it's no surprise there's now going to be a big showdown. The arena where it's to be fought out is one of the world's most famous racetracks, Le Mans. Antonio Albacete came here with an 11 point advantage. But since his crash last weekend at Harama, he has to run the final races in the truck of his teammate, Marcus Oestreich. This truck has a different front axle and different suspension. The simple fact is it's set up for Oestreich. Antonio and his technicians have to fight, but they cannot match the pace of the other top MAN racers, Norbert Kisch and Jochen Hahn. Hahn wins the first race, scoring 20 points. That's eight more than the Spaniard gets for finishing third. In the second race, the two title contenders are on a permanent lookout for each other. This time, Albacete gains one point more than the title defender. At the start of the last racing day, only four points separate the two, Antonio still in front. But in qualifying, he only makes it to seventh on the grid. Hahn, on the other hand, starts from the front row again, alongside the Hungarian Kish. Once more, victory and the full score of points are taken by Jochen. Albacete still manages to finish fourth, but it's the German who has taken over the lead in the championship going into the last race. Six points is his advantage now. The tension in his last race is next to unbearable. Albacete runs third, but with Hahn just behind him. That means the Spaniard will reduce Hahn's advantage by only one point. That's the running order across the finishing line. Finally, the championship is decided. Massive celebrations follow among the Hahn team. That's three titles in a row for the German MAN driver. <laughs>